Robert, Charlie speaking. What's your problem? I was watching a TV panel show and my set went off. That's all. No picture? No picture. Black screen? Just a black screen. Probably a tube. It was a wonderful show. I was spellbound. No kidding. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, I'll have a man over in five minutes. <laughs> for a TV repairman, mister? Yeah, I was listening to a panel show and went off. That's so? I was engrossed. No kidding. I think it's a two. Say, that's quite a sick. It's a 10 inch. You think it's weight fixing? They really know how to build them in the old days. So how come it broke? You take a fighter. After 30 years, his legs go, right? What's the legs got to do with it? It's not a console model. You're a young man, right? Your legs are still good, right? What do you know about old legs, correct? I think it's a two. I'll let you know what it is. I told you it doesn't work. And here he is, and he's gorgeous. Hey, it's working again. <laughs> hey, why'd you switch it off? It was working again. I heard a terrible hum, did you? That was the applause. That's the worst kind. I'll take it out of the shop and give it the once-over. Wait a minute. Can't you give it the once-over here? You got no once-over equipment. Maybe it was momentary. Maybe the electricity went off in the house. Look at that electric clock. It's three hours slow. I better take that clock in, too. The what? The once-over. Probably just needs a cleaning. Hold it, hold it. I'd like to try the TV set again. Do you mind? Yeah, you are nothing. See, but warm up fight. It should go on like that. It went on like that. Here he is, Eddie Gordon. Didn't you hear it? You didn't hear Eddie, boy, did you? Take my advice, pal. Don't overdo it. I'll take it out of the shop for the once over. How much is the once over? 27 bucks for the set. Make it 26.50. The clock will hit you for another 29. And what about that lamp? Well, what about it? The light ain't burning. That's because it ain't turned on. Okay, the lamp stays and it doesn't cost you a penny, except for the service charge runs you four ninety-eight. Stay away from the toaster, mister. May as well try that too while I'm here. Stand back, I'm gonna plug it in. And here he is, Eddie Cork! There's that static again, worth that plug. So long as you don't call Canada. Oh, you must think I'm a crook or something. Hello, Charlie. Ralph. I got a guy here, 30 West 55th, who gets Eddie Gordon on the toaster. Bring it in and give it the once over. Okay. Charge you another 10 bucks for the toaster and make it 975. How about the radio phonograph? Oh, something wrong with that, too? Oh, it works all right. Only when I put on the radio, I get the phonograph. And when I put on the phonograph, the washing machine stops. Fabulous machine, mister. They really know how to build them in the old days. So how come it rips my clothes to shreds? I'll tell you what. Let me take those two items in for the once over.
Service Department, Charlie speaking. What's your problem? Hi, Charlie. 30 West 55th calling. Ralph's on the first landing, and the Late Late Show is coming out of his forehead. Yeah, I think he needs the once-over. <laughs>